Hello coders, this is a quick video to show you where to find the modifiers in medical coding. Remember the modifiers are found in two coding manuals, your CPT coding manual and your HICPIX coding manual. Please keep them with you in order to review this um, video and understand it better step by step. Um, so where do we find these modifiers in your CPT coding manuals and your HICPIX? So in CPT, we also call it a level one um, CPT codes, and we find them, find the modifiers in Appendix A and front cover page. HICPIX, I will show you where that is in the pictures coming in this next slides. We have, uh, what are the modifiers? These are the two digit characters, codes or suffixes, such as 50 used for bilateral procedures, LT, anything that is done on the left side. Remember, bilateral left and right are for only the organs that are present on the both sides of the body. AA is for an assisting or assistant anesthesiologist. There are different kinds of codes, and these two are actually the CPT, but the AA comes from HICPIX. And this is the confusing part. Where do you find which modifier, correct? So let's do an example. Actually, let's see why we have need modifiers, right? Modifiers, again, are used as, as you will be a medical coder. You will be using a CMS 1500 form to fill out the necessary information sent to the insurance company. If a modifier is needed for a certain CPD code and you do not fill out these box 24 with the proper modifiers, the insurance will deny reimbursement. Make sure you remember that. It is part of your... It is not something that we put on a code. It has to go on the claim form. So exactly what are we looking for? Remember, we said modifier. What does a modifier mean? Modifier means something that adds to the missing information not given to us by the CPT code. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, so remember, we're looking for a procedure, simple, complete mastectomy. Okay, and it says bilateral simple complete mastectomy. When you find this code in your CPT coding manual, do you see that the code only says mastectomy simple complete? It does not say bilateral. So the bilateral is missing. It's missing the information for performing surgery surgeries on two mastectomies, not one. So the insurance company will not pay you for both if you do not add a modifier 50 that is why we call it a modifier modifier means you are modifying the code adding more information getting the proper reimbursement from the insurance company so as you can see this is our scenario and what code are you going to select correct 50 okay the code and this is easy remember if you don't even know the right code in this cpc exam you can see the modifier and select the right code. I still have the same answers everywhere except the modifier. But just the modifier will help you select the right answer. So you have the right CPT code. All you need is the right modifier. And modifier bilateral is always used for any organs that are the same on both sides. So it could be bilateral mastectomy, tonsillectomy. We have two tonsils. And let's say if only one was removed. Let's say we removed left only left mastectomy or left tonsillectomy, we are going to use only left modifier, LT, not just written left, LT. It is given in your front cover page as I will show you in a few. And if you removed the right, sorry, this is supposed to be right, you will choose an RT, okay? So remember, modifiers are modifying the description, the missing details of your CPT code. Now, let's say if it's a multiple procedure, okay, where we don't have two of everything in our body. It could be a same procedure done on different sides. Let's say there is a skin tag, right, multiple lesions or growths on the body. If you remove multiple lesions at the same procedure on different sides, you're using a modifier for multiple procedures. That is 51. If it's multiple operations done on the same operative session, um, let's say trigger points given on different muscles on different parts of the body at the same site. So you're going to use 
your modifier 51 according to the code description given okay you will add a modifier 51 to either the second code as asked by the code for the cpt code it the descriptions are differ from one code to another but to give the insurance company that these were multiple procedures you will always use 51 not 50 50 is only for any or two same organs present on both sides and done at the same time make sense hopefully that makes sense to you guys i know it's kind of complicated these are some of the descriptions i've given you can pause and review that but i want you to go with me and find the modifiers in your cpt book the CPT book, your front cover page, as you can see, I folded this to show you. You pick, you just open the front cover and within the front cover, you will see all the modifiers given to you. Okay, you can um, just look at in your own book for a more clear picture. This is showing you the modifiers 22 to 78. These are also modifiers for your digits, the left and the right, and your fingers and and digits in your feet have different modifiers that you want to make sure you uh, glance into your front page to have a better understanding um, if you want the details of each of these modifiers you can go into appendix a these are this is the page color and nowadays it's easier to find the page color so you can look at the page colors appendix a you will see the details of all of these modifiers, such as I have given you here, 50 for bilateral. It gives you the details of why would you use a modifier 50. Moving on to HICPEX. HICPEX, again, is also called as level two national modifiers. It has modifiers with the uh, letters in it, as you can see from A1 to XU. And these are all in your purple pages, as I have given you the colors easily findable so that you know where those are these are also two digits the most common um, modifiers you will see and you will have to use from HICPIX are going to be from ambulance ambulance coding and anesthesia coding this is another link I don't know if you can link find uh, or, or copy this link but I have made another video on HICPIX coding individually as to how to use the HICPIX to find the proper code so that will elaborate a little bit more for you so the first thing I want you to understand is anesthesia modifiers are a commonly uh, coded scenarios in your CPC exam or even if you're in a class or studying that's uh, another thing but I want you to make sure you understand this for the CPC exam these QX QZ QY codes are found on your level 2 modifier page 101 if you go to your index I will show you that in a minute you will find level two modifiers from page 101 and onwards you will find these two digit codes that i have shown you a1 to xu so you're looking for anesthesia codes or modifiers they begin with qx qz and qy so the question here is crna service under direction by a physician okay so this is one crna under direction by one doctor and the code should be QX because it says CRNA service with medical direction by a physician matches correctly. So, but if there's anything different, you can see that you have different codes, different modifiers giving you a different description because when the CRNA works under the physician or the anesthesiologist, same thing. Remember, when you code for anesthesiologist, he is also a physician. So, um, I don't know what I'm writing, but it didn't show. Anyway, by a physician or anesthesiologist. I was just going to write that down. So, um, this is a very commonly coded modifier. Make sure you pay attention and find it and put some kind of a tab on it so you will find it as quickly as you can. Um, another commonly code, commonly scenario presented in your CPC exam is ambulance coding. Ambulance has a code. An ambulance has modifiers modifiers asking you okay where was this accident site happened okay where was the patient taken to so it will give you from and to okay it has a from and a to description given that you have to give, properly identify the modifier for so from the accident site it will be the s and to the hospital will be h and the code for the exact description you have to follow word by word 
It's an ambulance service, basic life support, emergency transport, BLS emergency service. This is the exact wordings you have to use, exact keywords to find the correct code. Um, your codes for ambulances are on orange pages from A0021 to A0429 in your HICPIX manual. Don't forget that, okay? We're, we're still in HICPIX coding manual. We're not in CBT coding manual. Let's do an example. So we have another scenario for a injection of amphotericin B, 50 milligrams. How do we find this? This is another very commonly code, uh, coded scenario you will find in your CPC exam to show that you know how to use the drug table in your HICPIX manual. So we go to the content page because we need to find where the index is, okay? So you can see that the index for drugs is on page 45 called Table of Drugs. If you're just looking for index to find any other code, you will go to index only right here. But for table of drugs, we want to go to the table of drugs. So following the red pages in the index, in case if you're finding something else. But for the drugs, we will look for, well, actually we can. We can go to the index first and we can find injections. And you can see these are the red pages of the index. I'm looking for the main term, and the main term is injection here. If you cannot find injection, look for amphotericin, the name of the, the injection, which you do also see in your, in your index again. So there's not just one medical main term. There could be several. You just have to find the one that helps you find the correct code. So we're looking for amphotericin B, and it's giving you the code J0285. Now you're going to follow these pages, okay, these colored pages. You're going to follow these pages to the letter given to you. Remember, you found J085. You're looking for J0 codes right here. So you follow these pages, and you will find the correct code. You will match the description. It says injection amphotericin B, 50 milligrams. Don't forget, 50 milligrams is the dosage given and you have to confirm that. Another way to find the same code is follow the table of drugs, blue pages, also called as J codes. I gave you the page number. This is for 2020 HICPIX coding manual. So we're going to the table of drugs and we are looking for the alphabetical organization of the drugs and we see that there is an amphotericin B given along with amphotericin B lipid complex. And remember, we're only looking for amphotericin, so we're going to confirm the dose 50 IV J085. This is good enough for you. You don't even have to go to your tabular to confirm this code. So confirming the code J0285, remember, you can follow the index or you can follow the table of drugs. Some of the examples I've shown you, where will you find the code for left fourth toe? Again, your CPT, front cover, or Appendix A. Remember, there's a, there is another a very complex uh, code 26 called professional code or professional component. When a doctor does any kind of radiological services, the doctor writes the prescription, it goes to the MRI, and then um, it comes back to the doctor for review. But since the doctor only read the x-ray, he only gets 40%. So his code will be followed by 26 called professional component. The MRI service place, which did the x-ray, will receive the same code along with TC and gets paid 60% because they have the machine to be used. If the doctor owns this, the MRI place, he gets the 100%, no modifier needed. Okay, make sure you remember that this is a very important modifier used with any radiological MRI CT services. Very, very important. Again, I'm presenting you with some more examples. Just follow them um, and see if you understand that. Since I am almost done with this, I cannot review, but I will make more videos. So keep an eye and you will see much more examples with me. Okay, so hope to see you soon again, guys. Make sure you um, post some um, information at the bottom for me to tell me what else do you want to see. 
I hope to see you guys again. Have, have a great day. Bye-bye.